Okay, so welcome to the latest saga of the 1978 Lincoln Continental Town Car. So, I have to admit, I've been extremely lazy about doing things on this car. Um, not that it really needs that much, it's just, I don't know, just, just haven't felt like it, to be honest. So, here's one of the problems that I've had, actually, probably since I had the car. Um, this right front turn signal, uh, the bulb, I thought it had a bad bulb, but turns out there's something wrong with the socket. So let me show you what's going on and um, then we'll continue on with it. As you can see, the turn signal itself actually works, but when I turn off the turn signal, the light itself won't light up unless I fiddle around with the bulb. So there's something wrong with the socket. Um, I didn't see any corrosion or anything in it last time I looked at it. I thought it was just, you know, maybe, like I said, like, like uh, just needed to be cleaned or whatever, or fiddled around with. Uh, that worked for, <laughs> till, I, till I drove it the first time. And then, you know, there's something obviously that's not making good contact in there. So, I bought a new socket with wiring from Napa. Now, I'm not a big fan of just the butt connecting these. So what I'll probably end up doing is cutting these off and using, uh, I'll solder the wires. Or maybe what I would just do, make it even a little easier, is use the butt connectors, but put heat shrink over them so that they're um, sealed from any moisture getting in there. Not that I have to deal with that that much here in the desert, and I probably rarely, if ever, drive the car in the uh, rain, but I do take it to the car wash occasionally. So anyway, um, I'll show you how to get this thing off and uh, how to replace this and let's get it working. You'll need a Phillips screwdriver. You've got two super long screws in there. Believe it or not, this is made of metal. And this just is sitting in there. So be careful you don't break it. Okay, I'm out of breath now. <laughs> This is a little bit more work than I thought it was going to be. Um, it turns out that in order to get the inner housing out, and as far as I know, uh, you should be able to actually take it out as a whole unit before you took those two big long screws out that I did, but you still need to do that to get the bulb and everything out. So anyway, less chance of breaking this stuff by taking those off first. The, uh, there's two nuts, seven sixteenths, one on the top part, one on the bottom part. It's easier to get to the lower one from underneath the car. It's like just inside like the uh, fender well there, just above this uh, piece here. And you can get it with a regular long socket and a uh, ratchet. And once you break it free, at least on my car, you can twist it off by hand, it's not like um, you have to fight every thread, but that may uh, change depending on, you know, if you got rust or something on your car. Anyway, it's pretty easy. Same thing on the top, but I had to use a 
really long extension and go in up here, like up underneath the fender well, there's a hole up above the, uh, you'll see like the uh, horns in there. And you want to use like a real long extension to get down underneath and get to that. So anyway, now you can just pull this out. easier to work on the wiring up here than it is to try to yank it down and work on it down there. At least I think it will be. I could be 100% wrong on that. But um, as you can see, here's the studs that those nuts run. But unfortunately, what I'm seeing now is I have the wrong socket. This is what it called for when I looked it up. I did not know what it looked like. I'm not even 100% sure how to get it out of here. It looks like it just pulls out. Like it's friction fit. I don't see any holes or anything. So that socket I got is definitely not going to fit. So I'm going to have to hunt down this one. Oh, I got to take the bulb out first. It's coming. There we go. Okay. So here's your... Uh, inner thing there and as I said unfortunately they sold me the wrong socket so now I have to go find this one hopefully that might be fun I may have to end up ordering oh boy yeah that's not going to be fun because a used one may end up being the same problem. All right, well. That's where we are right now, so. All that worked for nothing. Well, you know what, now that I got this out, I really can't do anything with it unless I get a new socket, assumably. But when I turn the uh, power back on and I uh, the test this turn signal just with the bulb laying here it worked fine oddly enough it would it would seem that the flashing part of the bulb must have a different ground than the standard part of the uh, you know just the parking light part so if you look over there that lights on and this is obviously the one we're working on, but this is grounded here, this screw. So if I touch the socket here, we got light. So I think what we've had all along is a bad ground, which I believe is probably right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, take some sandpaper there and clean this up and uh, Try it again, and I think we may have fixed it without doing anything except work taking it apart and putting it back together. But, you know, that's common on older cars like this. You run into problems like that with bad grounds and things. The good thing is I get to return that socket, which I think was about 14 bucks. So, anyway, um, let me go uh, sand this thing up and uh, try it again. Okay, so I put it back together. I also took a wire brush to this and to these parts where the uh, studs meet the metal part. And I'm probably gonna go down into the car here where they do it and maybe give it a light brushing too, just so uh, everything's touching good there. And uh, probably do the back of these up as well. But you see now, I touch it to the ground. I mean, that seems pretty good to me. So I think we're going to put it back together and call it fixed. Hopefully, crossing my fingers. Okay, it's all together. Let's put the power back on and see what we got.
I think we're good. Let's just make sure the turn signal still works. Perfect. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos.